Gary here, welcome to Book Mob episode uh, 36. Today's episode is uh, Write Your Novel in 2024. Now, um, there are so many reasons why people don't write uh, their own books. There are reasons about publishing, about family reaction, about friends' reaction about exposing yourself, putting your own uh, creative efforts out in the world. But I'm here to tell you it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. You can write your story, your book, uh, your idea from your brain to the paper. Now, uh, let me show you... Um, Okay, this is my uh, first self-publishing effort, 100-100, uh, Flashy, Fleshy Faction. Now, uh, how did I do this? Well, when you write a novel or when you write a book, poetry, short stories, whatever, you're going to find yourself asking a whole lot of questions. Now, the thing is, don't ask yourself any of the questions that refer to how do I do it, why do I do it, where's it going? Just do it. In the sense that if you have a story in your mind, um, think about a challenge. Say to yourself, I am going to write a novel that's my story, my idea, my narrative, and at the end of the process, I am going to self self publish it. This is my final uh, self-published version. Now, how do you go from A4 paper, from computer, from typing, uh, from revision to hard copy? Well, it takes uh, effort, discipline, and an attitude. And the first thing I think is the most important uh, aspect of writing a novel and getting it self-published. Now, I'm keying on the word self-published. We are so fortunate that we live in a technological age where it allows so many people to publish their own work. Now I'm you know I think there's a famous quote uh, from somewhere that says many people can write books but they shouldn't. Now uh, that's why it's important to understand that your story, your idea, is yours. You can find thousands, thousands of idea um, of how to write your novel on the internet. So well, I'm not, I don't want to. That preach to the converted. What I'm saying to you is, if you have an idea for a novel, why don't you make 2024, amongst all your other res domestic responsibilities and work responsibilities, and say to yourself, I, you know, I've always wanted to write a book and I have a great story. Why don't I actually spend my time? I mean, you could spend three hours a night working on your text. You can do it. Okay, so as um, I've got to practice what I preach, this is the third draft of my uh, science fiction novella that I've been working on in 2023. Now, it came from an idea um, that was uh, always in my mind uh, about how uh, the world should be. And then I decided I'm going to sit down and write. Hey, I'm going to sit down and write this idea. Just excuse me a second. That's better. <clears throat> okay, take two. How do you publish? 
self-publish your novel? Well, I personally chose the uh, Amazon KDP route. Amazon KDP allows you to upload your novel with your cover designed in the right format onto the global market. Again, let's be serious. Who wants to read your story? You've got to start from you've got to start from the point of view as a writer, as a creator, that your story is from you first. You've got to say to yourself, I am not interested in fame or money because it's, chances are it's not going to happen. Now, you might say, well, what's the point of writing a book? Man, there's so many reasons. It's so good for your mental health to every day sit down and find a, a, a time, the time and the creative mental space to say to yourself, I'm going to keep going uh, with this endeavor. I've got an idea, whether it be a science fiction, a romance, a war, uh, a family drama. It's just billions of ideas out there. Your idea is not to think that it's going to be a bestseller. Because Look, I used to have those dreams and... I, I mean, I fully realize that the actual plan of taking an idea from your head to get to this is good enough. It feels so good. So right now, with my science fiction novel, Novella, I am steps away, quite a few steps away, from getting something hard copy like this. However... I will get there. And it takes work and it takes effort and it takes discipline and it takes some knowledge. Now, uh, I started, when I published my book 100-100, uh, I had zero uh, information about how to self-publish, zero. And I just researched the internet. I went on YouTube, how to self-publish, blah, blah, blah. And it's there for you. It's, it's just there. But... I'm getting ahead of myself because you've actually got to sit down and write. Why? If you would like to see something that's been buzzing in your head like a mozzie, making you frustrated, giving you ideas, oh, if I could do this, if I wanted this, and you've said to yourself, well, no one will read it. Who cares? It's too hard. No, it's not. We are living in an era where, regardless of what the critics say, and now this is the thing. When I was growing up and uh, writing, I've been writing for, you know, for decades now, the idea of self-publishing was actually linked to the idea of van what was called vanity publishing where we all sat around and went, you're not a writer unless you're published by an established publishing house. Like, fair enough. Of course, publishing houses work very hard. They have editors, they have lawyers, they have specialists, they seek out talent. Of course, they're going to pick the best of the bunch. Now, my argument and my discussion for you is write your own novel. Create your own story. Make it a year, make it for 2024 something that you want to achieve. Now, it's going to cost you a few bucks. Uh, who designs my uh, cover? Who uh, formats the novel for me? Who uh, distributes the novel for me? And it's you. And you can do it. So out there right now, there are people who have novels and stories in their heads and they've never, ever, ever thought about thinking about actually self-publishing it. But you can, you can do it. If I've done it, anyone can bloody do it.
go on. Uh, I went, so how did I find, like, I, look at the cover of this. It cost me $200 to do this cover. I went through Fiverr, uh, apps, uh, website, uh, app, called, uh, I think it's called 100 Covers. And they produce a cover for your book, as they did mine. And also they will give you uh, a, a uh, marketing uh, marketing cover, a photo or image. That's your hardback and your ebook image stuck, um, so that you you know once you get your 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 book out there, you have some marketing power. Now. Uh, no, where is it? <laughs> Lost it. Can't find it. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Now, here's something else you can do. So, this cover was uh, produced by Covers 100. I found on Fiverr. And I made this uh, postcard. And I leave them around the city on buses, I put them inside books at bookshops, I leave them on buses, on trains, on ferries, I just leave this card, it's my way of getting my word out, my work out, and I think that costs like 25 bucks for 500 or something, I mean it's easy, <laughs> um, okay, so you've got your idea, you sit down, you write your book, your story, your novel, and you say to yourself, who will read it? You don't know who will read it. You have no idea who will read it. You've got a story to tell, just tell it. Now, how it finishes once it's published is up to you. Do you hire uh, an editor? You could. Do you uh, find some uh, editing software? You could. Could you simply publish it as is? Well, you could do that too. It doesn't matter. It's how you want your story to be told. Now, professional publishing um, with the big guys, of course, is the, you know, the ultimate because they've got distribution, they've got marketing, and also they've got the, this expertise to carve and create the book that they hope to sell. So whenever I think about publishing, self-publishing, that is, the last thing on my mind is selling as a motivation I'm talking about. The motivation is... Can I sit here with an idea and produce a enjoyable, entertaining, well-written story? And if you've had even half an education, you can. If you're sitting around just thinking, oh, I'm, you know, I haven't done anything in my life, I haven't achieved anything, you know, I wish I had this, you're working in some job you don't like... I guarantee you, if you come home every single night from that job or that marriage or that environment that is keeping you away from pursuing something that is greater than you, well, then this is the perfect year for you to say to yourself, I'm going to sit down every single night of 224 and put my story that is in my head characters, plot, incidents, events. And I'm going to make a story come alive. I am going to create my story, my novel. And I am going to do it in 2024. So what I'm trying to get across is this. Your creative energy is sitting there waiting to be touched. Make 2024 your year to write your novel, your book. Self-publish it at the end of the year. 
go on the internet, research how to. Like I said, I knew nothing of self-publishing before I published my first uh, book. So I just simply went on the internet to how to publish, how to, how to get something from the idea in your brain onto a hard copy that you can either sell or give away. I give away a lot of uh, my copies purely because, I again, my interest and my expectation is for the discipline and the joy I personally get from setting out to create uh, a story from beginning, middle and end. And I've done it with this, and it's still I'm still editing, but there's a lot more to go. But it feels so good to sit down every day, whether you write 50 words, 100 words, or 2,000 words. It does. It does. Again, it doesn't matter. You don't owe anyone anything. You owe it to yourself. So, once you've finished your book, your novel, your story. You want to get a cover made, you go to, you, again, you look on the internet. I gave you the company that I use, Covers 100 or 100 Covers, I can't remember now. I also found on Fiverr someone who formatted uh, my book for me. Now, when I say format, it means he makes it technologically accessible for Amazon KDP. Now, again, when I talk about Amazon KDP, I'm talking about my experience because I didn't go with anyone else. I went with Amazon because I was happy with their conditions. I was happy with how they uh, allowed me to upload my book to their website. It's not about making, look, seriously, it's not about making money. I think I sold maybe 22 copies of this book. <laughs> so... It, you know, it's, it's got nothing to do with sales or, of course, you'd love your book to be, uh, to be well known, to be well bought. Of course you would, but don't make that, don't make that your goal, your focus, make finishing an idea that's in your head and getting the satisfaction, the joy, the pleasure of actually holding your own very own paperback copy of your book, your story. Okay, I got distracted there. So on Fiverr, I found uh, a person uh, who I paid, I think I paid 80 bucks. And what they did was they formatted my text, which is done on a Mac, which is in pages. They formatted the text into uh, the, the, I don't know, what the data that is read properly by Amazon KDP in order to lift it into its database. But not only that, he didn't just do that. He also created the, the look of the pages. He, he, uh, um, see like I, you know, he put, um, for each story, uh, for each page, he made it, um, uh, he gave it the most professional look that I could afford at that time for that price at that time. And I was extremely happy with the work that he did. And once I get to that stage uh, with this, I, I think I'll, I'll, well, hopefully he's still in, uh, in the business. I'll look at him again to help me format, uh, create the pages, create the page numbers, create the way the novel looks, how many pages it is, which is so important. When you, I mean, when you go to Amazon KDP, you'll find out all, all these requirements in order to get, which are so beyond your actual story. Um, once you write your story, it's in your head and your mind and how it should be. But in order to make it, uh, to offer it to the marketplace, uh, you have to follow the certain uh, diagnostic rules and, uh, like I said, on Fiverr, I just told, you know, formatting for Amazon KDP, bang, this guy came up, uh, and we communicated, um, via text. I sent him my, uh, file, blah, 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 blah. A couple of days later, he sent it back to me and said, how do you like this? I was more than happy with how he had, uh, manufactured the look of my, uh, of my book, 100, 100. And then I just took that that file that he created and I uploaded it to uh, Amazon KDP and 
that was it. And then it was up to me to talk to people, to market my book. So again, marketing is a whole new level of, um, of uh, knowledge. And it's just something that I've uh, been learning. And I made a few mistakes. I mean, I made a lot of mistakes. Uh, I found a few errors in my book uh, that I didn't see even after I'd scrutinized it so in-depthly that I thought I there was nothing wrong. But again, that's all the process of uh, self-publishing. And I just want you to know that if you have an idea, a creative drive, sit down and make it happen. Produce your own work and get it out there just so that you can say to yourself, this is working uh, from my, you know, outside of my domestic professional social life. This is something else that I wanted to do and you can do it. It does not take a lot of money. It doesn't. It takes, I mean, there are some expenses when it comes to publishing, you're getting your cover, getting it formatted, of course, but it's such a small price to pay for a for taking a hobby and giving yourself the possibility of getting a story out in the world where, who knows, I mean, it may be so good that thousands of people want to read it. But again, that that is not the point. The point is to take your idea, your own idea, your own idea, your own story, and saying, hey, let me see if I can create, write, have the discipline to go from one to 100 and publish it, and show my family, my friends, my, you know, whatever, if you want to. Hey, look what I did. You, would you, are you interested in reading it? So just do it. It's not hard. So write your novel in 2024 and publish it in 2025. Okay. Anyway, so thanks for uh, tuning in if you're still with me. Uh, I'm going to be working hard on my science fiction novel over the next couple of months, and hopefully I'll be able to have it Uh, up on Amazon by April, May of 2024. So thanks for listening to Book Mob episode 36, and I'll see you through the window, or I'll see you around the corner. Thanks, mate. Bye-bye.